so that I had to swallow it. Hi guys, today we're going to be trying the weirdest food combinations that you can ever think of. These combinations are actually disturbing. I'm like, do you guys actually eat these things or am I about to like fall sick today? Like, am I actually... <laughs> I'm nervous as heck. I came up with this idea on my own, so I should take full responsibility of everything. If I fall sick today, it's all my fault. I decided to do this video today, but still, it's still very like scary for me because I'm like, how do you guys actually come up with these combos? Most times, I feel like pregnant women they crave some kind of food and combinations of food, but for you not to be pregnant, like no baby in your tummy and you are coming up with these food combinations like it's crazy to me i'm like okay but anyways i posted a poll on my instagram that you guys should recommend food combinations that are weird basically and you guys actually came through you guys came up with stuff that are beyond weird like disgusting like crazy but sometimes i also know that some food just like go together and they may seem weird but they actually taste good so we're going to be seeing what these combinations actually taste like if you guys want me to do a part two comment down below okay, i'm also going to be ranking these combinations so let's see where all of this falls today but anyways guys my name is natasha if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and if you're new here thank you very much for clicking on my video anyways let's jump right into today's video let's start the taste test i'm sort of excited but i am nervous at the same time so i'm going to start softly something that is not so crazy to think about okay so today as you guys can see there is a coke on the table and you're probably wondering what a complex is doing here as well you guessed right we're going to be making cornflakes coke cereal i call it coke flakes <laughs> oh my god what is that have you, have you ever been as creative as that? But anyways, we're going to be pouring the coke into the cornflakes and basically eat it like you're eating your cereal with milk. But the coke stands in as the milk. And this is the easiest tax compared to the ones that I have in store. <laughs> and this is the simplest. This is the one that actually sounds okay. It doesn't sound okay, shall, but <laughs> let's actually try this and see if the people eating this are okay in the head okay so, so let's you guys hear that so guys the thought of actually eating this daily food like in the morning before i go to school i would just say okay i'm going to pour coke into my cornflakes but anyways let's try it before it gets soggy I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like it not because it doesn't taste nice, because it's basically coke. But it's a lot going on, like the sugar. Like it's not it does not feel healthy. Like if I eat a full bowl of this, I would actually feel extremely fat after. So I'm going to put this in the not bad segment. It's actually not bad. So can we move on to the next one? Let's see if the next one will also be not bad. <laughs> or if it could be worse. But yeah, guys, I will rate this three out of ten. I am genuinely sorry, but the next combination I'm about to try, if you have ever tried this combo before, I don't think all is well. <laughs> the next one is watermelon. You guys will not expect this. Watermelon and mayonnaise. I'm going to like pour this in the watermelon. Like actually pour this in the watermelon and eat it. Guys, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Like, who sent, who actually sent me to do this challenge? Like, would you just be sitting down one day and be like, why don't I try watermelon and mayonnaise together? But let's try it. Let's not, let's not be too judgmental today, okay? Am I the only one that does not know how to cut watermelon? Yeah. 
Mayonnaise on the <laughs> melon. Oh shit! Oh, that's so much. Okay, I think I actually put too much mayonnaise. But I have to like take the old parts and the mayonnaise covers. So, Lord help me, God please keep my stomach safe. Whoever came up with that idea, you need to be locked up. Let me describe the taste of this. You guys can try it for yourselves. But first of all, this watermelon is really juicy. So it adds a lot of water. So the water of the watermelon mixed with the mayonnaise, like it was just so gross that I had to swallow it. You guys, disgusting. Disgusting shit. This is so disgusting. I rate this a minus 5.5 out of 10. Never again am I trying this, but I am still going to eat my watermelon. That's better. Anyways, let's just let's just forget it. Let's let's put this behind us. Let's move on. On to the next one. The next combination. I think this one might be crazier, but I think it might taste good. Let's see what the next combo is. This combination is also as crazy as the last. It is sardine with chocolate. So we're going to be eating sardine and chocolate together. Put the sardine on the chocolate, then bite it. Yeah, I know, crazy, right? <laughs> That's what we're going to be doing today. What am I actually doing with my life? Whoa, well, we already tried watermelon and mayonnaise. We might as well just try this one. Whoa. <laughs> when I said I like trying new food, this was actually not what I meant. This is what the chocolate looks like. So I've got a piece. And then take a little bit of this sardine. Guys, I, I like legit. I can actually feel my stomach making some kind of noises. So let's try this. <laughs> this actually almost made me throw up. I'm pretty sure you guys could see me. But, oh, <laughs> guys, I read this zero out of ten. Because first of all, the fish, the chocolate, it doesn't go well together. Like, why would you guys be thinking of these ideas? This is this was disgusting. This was extremely bad. I certainly do not want to waste any food I'm using for this video. That's why you guys don't actually see me throw up and actually, like, gag. Well, I was actually gagging, but that's why you guys did not see that I was, like, throwing up or spitting out, spitting out the food I was using. So, but it was actually bad. Trust me. I feel like at this point we are we're already like past crazy level. Like wow well, well, this this challenge is already crazy. So <laughs> the next one we're going to be trying, like looking at it is already making my stomach like cry. But we're going to be trying rice and milk. We're going to be eating it as cereal. Oh god, I feel like throwing up. I actually feel like I'm going to throw up for this one. And the worst part about this one is that people actually eat it. Like, not just for fun, but like actually eat it. So I heard. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay, so let's try this. So, how it works, we're going to pour the milk into the rice, basically like cereal. They normally add sugar, but I feel like I've taken in so many sugar today, so I'm trying to like save myself. I think I need to start actually sitting down and thinking about my decisions and the consequences of my actions because at the end of the day after I finish doing this challenge I know the troubles the trials the tribulations I am going to be facing <laughs> let's actually do this 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 actually looks like shit I don't know if you guys can see but it looks so bad so I'm going to try it This one is not even on the ranking. Let's no, I'm not ranking it, guys. 
this was bad this was terrible never try this again we don't recommend if you actually do eat this you have a problem this <laughs> what am i doing with my life like i'm not actually being dramatic i had to throw this away and i don't play with food i don't throw food away first of all it looks so gross i think maybe the idea of this was like you know there's that rice crepes cereal so maybe that was the idea behind this but it's foul it's crazy next one the last but not the least yeah i feel like this one i've heard a lot of people actually try this so lots of people actually eat this and i've been wondering how does this taste so i'm going to be trying it today so the last but not the least doesn't sound so bad i feel like it could actually work but i just feel like putting two like main food together i don't know i don't like the idea of that like the next one is noodles with bread i'm going to be putting the noodles into the bread just because i don't want to waste the food because i've already wasted a lot of food today we're going to be cutting a little bit from the bread and i've had a lot of people try this so this is the last one and i feel like this is going to be the best one so hmm Okay, that was actually not bad. But I feel like it was a bit too chewy. Because the Indomie already has a type of texture and the bread already has a type of texture. On it, so, to eat together, I don't know if I like that much like being going on in my mouth. But the Indomie added some kind of flavor to the bread. So I think this is actually good. Like this one actually, this is actually good. This is a good combination. So this is the only good combination on this challenge. If you know you want to see me do this again, comment down below. And also leave some suggestions as well. What weird food have you been trying behind closed doors? What weird food have you been eating that nobody knows about? Just comment it down below and I might as well just try it. So yeah, guys. Um, If I did not do your suggestion i'm going to be doing them in part two so subscribe so i can know that you guys like this video and also like as well and comment down below okay guys and now i have to go to the toilet mm -hmm.